What is up, Doodlebug? I don't know about you, but I am sick of all this Oscar nomination talk. Am I right? I'm also ill. I'm not feeling well, but the good news is a lot of people aren't. So, haha, -ha, I'm fashionably sick. Whenever you get sick, do you ever go into CSI mode and try to deduce where exactly this bug came from and from whom and what time you contracted it? I did babysit a bunch of kids. I rode the crowded subway home from Finger Food Festival 2013. Whose chapstick is this? When everybody around you starts getting sick, you suddenly realize, oh, this is how the plague spread. This is why two thirds of the human population died off during the Black Death, and it could happen again. More often than not, I'm thinking of disasters and apocalyptic scenarios. When I lived in Chicago and I'd walk everywhere, I'd look at a skyscraper and think, what would happen if that building just tipped over? What do you do in that situation? Which direction would I run? Can I take shelter beneath another building that would hopefully catch its fall? Do I go down into the subway or would the building fall down on the subway and cave in? I'd be trapped and buried alive, which is not what I want to do. Being buried alive is number one on my list of things not to do. Number two, be lit on fire. Yes, I'm a big fan of those when everything goes wrong TV shows. I was watching this one where it was a NASCAR race or something like that, and the race car flew off the road and just started tumbling at a crowd of spectators and mechanics. One mechanic just ran at the car and it dodged him. That's what you're supposed to do, apparently. Fact, if something is flying at you, you run at it at an angle. If it's tumbling at you and you're running away, you're probably not fast enough, it's gonna crush you. But if it's tumbling at you and you kind of run toward it, but at an angle, it misses you. That is one way of not being killed. Question time. What's going forward asks, can you stretch your awesome pack collection? Ding. Why, yes I can. Watercolor. This here is the watercolor palette. These are the paints that I use. They come in little tiny tubes, but do not be fooled. A little bit goes a long way when it comes to watercolor. You just squeeze it on the palette and then you fill it up. Yay! Watercolor. India ink! Anytime you see me doing black outlines, this is probably what I'm using. It's a liquid black ink. With the India ink, you can use a dip pen to draw. DIP PEN! You just dip the pen in the ink and draw with it, like old-timey people used to do. These are bamboo brushes, and they're traditionally used with painting with ink, sort of like with Chinese art and Japanese sumi paintings. I also use a liner brush. This is originally a watercolor brush, but it works just as well with ink. You can make really thin, delicate lines or big, thick, bold ones all in the same stroke without changing tools. This is kind of a good handy brush to have on you. Yeah, brushes. And I have a whole variety of watercolor brushes. Whoops. The key to a really good watercolor brush is soft bristles. And then from there, it's all just kind of personal preference. Got a question from Dog Dream 789 Have you ever done work with other types of media? Yes, I have. I've done pastel watercolor, oil, acrylic, sculpting, photography, videography is a medium, right? I feel like it's good to try everything. If I go to a buffet, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take a little bit of everything and then go back to the ones that I really liked and just stuff my face full of it. I did do oil paint in college. I hated it. I think it was mostly because of the teacher or because oil paint is expensive and messy and I don't like it. I think in the future I would like to try oil again, maybe, sometime. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe I will. We'll see. Bruno on Twitter asks, I want to know where and what did you study? Cheers, from Mexico. Absolutely wrong accent there. I went to college in Chicago, to Columbia College. I studied filmmaking with a theater minor. I took one art class. Most of my art education happened in public school, believe it or not. Our school district actually had an amazing arts department, and I didn't realize this until I left, which is how a lot of things go in life, isn't it? Finally, on Twitter, Sydney asks, Mary Doodles, if we were a dynamic duo of awesomeness and superpowers fighting crime, what would our names be? Also, would we be DC or Marvel? First off, I'd say we'd be an independent self-published company because we don't want division. We don't want there to be like union issues. What if somebody's getting mugged and we come to rescue them, but then suddenly we realize, ah, oh, man, you read Marvel? Yeah, we're DC. We can't save you. Sorry. It's not how it should be. We'll do a Kickstarter. We'll get our comic business going that way, and then we can fight crime. I'd say for names, right now I feel like the sniffles. That doesn't really sound like a superpower. Ooh. 
We can be lightning and bolts. You're lightning. You have the power to control lightning and zap people. I'm bolts. I'm like a superpower Frankenstein monster thing. I got my powers after I was mutilated by a flaming race car that was rolling at me and I couldn't run out of the way in time. And then the doctors were able to piece me together, but they stitched me up with different people parts and animal parts. So I got like this superhuman animal strength going on. I'm also really fast. Like I can bolt. We'd be like a speedy duo. Thank you for all the questions, and if you have any questions that you want answered, you can always leave a comment here or go to Facebook and Twitter and ask me there. I'll be uploading these vloggity vlog vlogs every Friday, and don't think I didn't notice all of your requests and demands for tutorials. I don't want to make any promises, but I am hoping to have a tutorial out by the end of this month. I've never taught anybody before, so it's just a matter of getting those thoughts together and figuring out how to clearly illustrate them for you. <laughs> Illustrate art, get it? So I'm gonna get done as much as I can for now and it might be that we would do a vlog one week and then a tutorial the next and then vlog, tutorial, vlog, tutorial every Friday. I'd love to get your opinion on it and hear the kind of things that you'd like to see because honestly you're the driving force behind all this. Business time! I have a store at rodeoarcade.com. It's the Mary Doodle store where I have signed prints and t-shirts available. If there's a particular image you want to get as a print or see it on a t-shirt please let me know because I am always open to recommendations. Or if you're like me and you don't like spending money that you don't even have, then you can just go to my main channel and watch the Time Ups videos and everyone is happy. I'd love to give a big shout out to Dante, aka Give Me Motion. He's the dude who made this song that you're gonna be hearing at the end of this video. So I just wanna credit him for that music and tell you to go check him out at youtube.com slash give me motion. Thank you very much for the love and for your eyeballs here. I look forward to seeing you next week and bringing you some more fun stuff. Woo!